Hello and welcome to Rosalind's Kitchen once again. Uh, the third meal didn't happen this week. It has been an incredibly strange, crazy, manic, and just out there week. It just nothing happened. Okay? It was just on the home front, I came home, I fell over, that was it, you know, the whole week. So anyway, we're going to start off fresh with the creamy basil pesto um, chicken. It's been one of those little pans. Now, since I have acquired a random kitten in my house, I don't know how it got in. It's a little boy. It's white and a little gray. It looks like um, the random kitten from Steve Cash's videos. That's why I call it random kitten. Um, but I'm socializing it and I've got it in a crate, but of course you have to have a litter pan. So I've been using my old used litter pan, my pans like this. They make perfect, perfect kitten litter pans. And then I can just chunk them out without any guilt. So for tonight, we have great tomatoes. We have the chicken. We have the orzo, which my father is not going to appreciate. We have light cream cheese. We have pesto. We have chicken base. We have cheese. We have the Epicurean herb butter. They've been doing this more. And, um, of course, we have our pan. So, I have my oven heating to, four, to 400. So, let us get this thing going and um, get the party started. Oh, by the way, if any of you would like a, a random kitten, let me know. Anyway, pan. I am to put the orzo. known as rice, sort of, um, a cup and a half of water, so hang on, all right, so the orzo is in there, I have my cup and a half of water, a half, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, my chicken base, uh, let's see, a pinch of pepper, pinch, pinch, and now I stir it up, combine it real good. So well combined, and then I'm going to put my tomatoes on the top of it, and then I shall have to get my chicken in there. So I'd say that's probably about as mixed as it's going to get. Get my tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes. It says authentic grape tomatoes as opposed to fake grape tomatoes. One has to wonder. Well, let me rinse these little guys off. I'll be right back. All right, so they've been rinsed off. And now, put them in there. Boop. Okay, yay. Look at that. Even looks kind of like what it's supposed to. So now I've got to pack my chicken breasts dry, combine the cheese and crumble the cheese spread and put them on top of the tomatoes. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm putting the chicken on 
on the tomatoes. And I am to put a pinch of salt. And a pinch of pepper. not asking me to spread it on here because that always ends up being so much more exciting than it really needs to be. Uh, but yeah, the, this week has been deeply strange. And not just for me. I, I know that other people are out there suffering with, well, ever read um, J.D. Robb? In her series, uh, the In-Death series, the characters talk about a historic event of called the Urban Wars. And I'm watching the news going, oh my god, she got it right. Those are, we're going to have the Urban Wars right here in America. The world's gone to hell. Pardon my friends. And there's going to be utter anarchy because they're trying to get rid of the police department, which means that when you are threatened, you cannot call anybody to come help you. And um, it's kind of like slitting your throat in order to avenge your nose. It's not good. Okay, so now. I shall put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. All right, so my chicken is done. Now I need to move the chicken breasts to a separate plate. <laughs> And spread out the cheese, which will be easier now that, you know, the chicken is raw and slimy. There we go. <laughs> and now I test, I top it with the pesto. half the parmesan and the butter put them in the ozar Decided 
it had nothing to live for and it ran away. Committed suicide and just jumped right off the counter. So there's my food, and since I'm kind of letting, I guess, letting Daddy serve his, I'm just going to hold them off to the side. There we go. Let's see how they taste. All right, so the verdict on tonight's by Daddy is boring. The chicken didn't really like Real me. I enjoyed the orzo, not so much the tomatoes, but it was okay. Nothing to like write home about. But anyway, so hopefully <clears throat> you will see me tomorrow. And until then, remember, all lives matter.